Good morning, landscape lovers. I'm Felix from Hologon, and let's take a very first look at Hologon Landscape Beta. So, what is Landscape? Landscape introduces a new paradigm in digital 3D landscape modeling. Landscape is available as a free or paid plugin for the world's most user friendly 3D modeling application, SketchUp, for both Windows and Mac. Landshape has quite a few tricks up its sleeve, and today we'll just skim the surface. Perhaps the most important aspect of Landshape is that it dramatically lowers the barrier of entry to professional 3D landscape modeling. It takes user friendliness and applies it to the special case of terrain. And once you get hang of the basic principles, it should be quite easy to use. So what we're looking at now is a model created where the terrain has been created and edited in Landshape. So if we try this in practice and ask the question, what does Landshape actually do? Uh, so on a more detailed level, it turns any geometry input in SketchUp into terrain and then treats the terrain as a plastic canvas for effortlessly expressing your landscaping ideas. These ideas could be existing, planned, imaginary. Landscape is sort of tries to be expressive everywhere and accurate where needed. So it lets you impose your vision onto the terrain mesh and keep it in control. You don't have to be a sculptor to get realistic results. So here we're looking at the site in Gothenburg, Sweden, called Slottsberget. And here we've created this thing. So we've added a road graded in a sort of patio and a slope and some retaining walls. And it looked like this when we started. So how did we get from here to here? So let, let, let's do that. So if we change the view here to something more terrainy, like so, let's go run run through this. So here you can see the input. This is a really good input, and usually good. Typically, it's not this well formed, but we want it to be even better. Landshape is quite generous with input, so you can throw pretty bad geometry at it, any collection of faces or points, edges, and Landshape will try to make a good mesh out of it. And then you can edit it from there. So we'll start with this. So we'll select this thing as an input, and then we'll uh, run one of the two commands with a little plus. That means create new terrain. So we'll click form. And Landshake will take this as an input and now create a mesh that we can then use to impose our idea on. So here we go. It's done. I hide the input. And here we can see the land shape terrain. Looks like this, um, like so. So this is quite a coarse mesh, but that's okay because we can add detail where we want it. And that's what we're going to start looking at. So if you remember from the other model, we got a pier down here. So how do we express that? Because this is not a lot of quartz to work with. Well, you express that by imposing we add details into the terrain. And you can do that by adding or embedding. So let's do that. So we prepared grade groups. We turn off the terrain and we can look at the grade groups. Here's one for the pier. Here's one for the house. And we simply select one of these groups like so. And then we add it to the terrain. We add the lines, okay? So we can express something here like so. Click Add. And now you see what happens? We added some lines. And now when we click Grade, let's click Grade, and see what happens. We can express uh, this key, these docks, super crisp, uh, with super crisp detail. And we can do the same over here. So this is what it really looks like. And we want to impose our idea to create a new house here. So we do the same thing. We can add also use embed, look at that in a moment, like so. And then we grade. Okay, that looks good. 
So let's use some material. And here is some material. Here's just a, it's just a face with a, with a texture. So we can use that and use that as a source for zoning. So let's zone. There we go. Now it's starting to look like uh, what we wanted, but we also want to uh, we also want to add our own ideas about what color this should have and make it stand out a bit. So we prepare some control groups here, and this is the general principle in in and we can zone these as well. Let's look at the result. Click zone, and there we go. And the order here, uh, the the order of the input faces, the elevation will determine what it looks like down here. And this is a general principle how best to work with uh, with these kind with landscape is to use control groups for to to as a sort of medium through which you communicate with the train mesh and let's look at one more example today and this is a fairly large landscape it's in Barcelona uh, or outside Barcelona, it's a hilltop outside Barcelona, Spain. And we've on this, we've imported a mesh. We imported a point cloud, we made a mesh out of it, and we've imposed some roads here. And here we have also embedded them, and it looks like this. But if we zoom in here, we see we've got a problem, because there's some sort of artifact in the mesh. And I think it's got to do with a funicular being here. So, so let's fix that. So, the other one part of of Landshape are these pick tools, where you use you select something and use it as a source or target for some sort of thing you want to do with the terrain. But another way to control the mesh is to use brushes, and they are somewhat more freeform, but they can also be precise. So let's look at that. So if we use a level brush like this, we could, in theory, we could just sample this level and then we could impose it like so, okay? So, yeah. Then we made the road fairly flat, but also lots of other things because the the we wanted to, because the, the, the brush spills over. So let's do it another way. Let's do it the right way. Let's do it the land shape way. So Landshape has this concept of embeds, and you can view the embeds uh, anytime by clicking this one. And here you can you can now visualize the embeds and see how they what they look like. And we're going to use them now to adva our advantage. So let's use we could use this brush. Let's try another one. Let's try smooth brush. And here now you can see if I do ignore embed, the brush you can see by the preview will just go through it all. Okay, affect everything. But if I use, for instance, stop by or stop on embed, see what happens. I can go outside and only affect the terrain outside this border or inside. So now it becomes a breeze to only edit the road while keeping the rest of the geometry intact. Look at this. This is one single brush stroke, yet I managed to, to make the, ter ter the road almost completely smooth and not touch the rest. So here you go, the power of Landshape. So in sum, Landshape tries to make the hard easy. And when you do that, you sort of get the artistic part for free. So if you look at a fun little golf course like this, we can add, here's just, just finished with a, a splash of water. So here we can add some water to the terrain like so and some more over here. And now we made a little golf course with uh, water and everything. So if you want to learn more about Landshape, uh, then please visit hologon.com. Here you can download a trial, you can order in the shop, or you can visit the forum to, uh, to discuss Landshape. So, Thank you very much, and now go create beautiful landscapes.